Hello, welcome. In this video, we're looking at trigonometry with right angles. And now we are on, I believe, the fourth exercise module. It's right triangle trig word problems. So we'll look at some of those so you can get a sense of how these problems work. So I'm going to go back to the first one. Now, with these problems, they put a timer on it, but the timer does not seem to impact your score. So please take your time on these. If you want to do one problem, it might take you a while. Right to read through it. I encourage you to do the problem. So, for example, if, if I'm doing this Khan Academy exercise and I click on it, it says four to six minutes right here. But if I go to Let's Go, I see the first problem. Maybe this takes me a while. What I'm going to do after I enter my answer is just close the window. It'll save my progress. Then I come back and resolve them. That makes the word problems a little bit less painful because it's really a lot. You know, it's a lot to to read through these. Um, all in one shot. So feel free to take breaks in between. That certainly helped me. All right, so the first one. I look at the diagram first, just to kind of get a sense of what I'm dealing with here. Um, I've got, what do I got? I got this angle, okay. I've got a right triangle here. So I've got a hypotenuse here. Let me not use yellow, it's hard to see that. So we've got a hypotenuse. I'm thinking that this is the hypotenuse of the right triangle. Probably the, the I'll use that as a hypotenuse. And I, I don't really know what this is, but I do know that if I had this side length, I could find that angle. And I really want it to be 15. I'm going to put 15 there, which is half of 30. So now I'm going to read the problem. Bob is building a wood cabin. The cabin is 30 meters wide. OK, so this is the cabin, 30 meters wide. He obtained a bunch of 17 meters long wooden beams for the roof. So here's the roof, 17. Here's going to be 17 meters. Uh, long. Naturally, he wants to place the roof beams at such an angle that each pair of opposite beams would meet exactly in the middle. So he's got 17, 17. He wants them to meet at the middle. Um, if the cabin is 30 meters wide, um, what is the angle of, eleva of elevation of the roof beams? What will this angle be? So he wants them to meet at the middle. So we're assuming this will be the middle. So that, that means that we can assume this is 15 meters. So our trig ratio is sine, cosine, tangent. We've got an adjacent side and a hypotenuse. That's a cosine ratio. So the cosine of our angle, I'll, I'll use the theta variable, is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. Right? The cosine of some angle has to equal that ratio. So we use our inverse cosine function. What is the angle that has a cosine of 15 over 17? So to do that, we go to our calculator and we type in second cosine 15 divided by 17 and we get 28.07 to the nearest tenth though is 28.1 so it's 28.1 degrees so 28.1 and that's the answer next one okay oh boy I don't I look at this diagram I see a sun coming down there's some kind of building or thing here I'm inferring this is some kind of shadow they probably want us to know this point, something about this point, or maybe this distance right here, right? I guess the or the the length of this sunbeam right there. Let's see what they want to know. Archimedes, famous mathematician, went to sleep beside a big rock, so he's sleeping. Where is he sleeping? I think he's sleeping here. So sleeping here. Okay, he wanted to get up at seven a.m. All right, but the alarm clock was yet to be invented. He decided to sleep at the spot where the rock shadow would end when it's 7 a.m. so as to be awakened by direct sunlight. So he's, I know he's sleeping here because you can see the sun would be hitting him at this point. It wouldn't really make sense to have him sleep here or here. There's nothing indicating that. But let's read further and we'll make more sense of it. He knew that at 7 a.m. the sunlight reaches the ground at an angle of 31 degrees. So here's the sun coming down. He knows that the angle is about 31 degrees. The rock beside which he slept was 5 meters tall. So in other words, this, this sun's coming up, 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 and it's rising. And then it's going to reach a point where it comes over this rock and hits the ground at an angle at a 31 degree angle. So how far from the rock did he go to sleep? So we want to know what? We want to know this distance right here. And we're assuming that this is also 5, this distance as well. We don't know the hypotenuse length, but we don't need to. But we have a right triangle. You can see it. So here's our angle. 
we have an opposite side, we want to know the adjacent side. So opposite and adjacent, that's a tangent ratio, right? So we know that the tangent of 31 degrees must be equal to 5 over the adjacent side. And to solve this, you can essentially just swap the x and the tangent of 31, right? That's going to be an equivalent ratio. So x is going to be equal to 5 divided by the tan of 31. And let's figure that out. 5 divided by the tangent of 31 is about 8.321, and to the nearest hundredth is 8.32. So we're saying it's about 8.32 meters. And I would just always take a moment and glance at your triangle. If this is 5, it seems reasonable in the diagram that this is about 8.32. So that seems somewhat reasonable, and that is the correct answer. Okay, next problem. Okay, it says a tiny but horrible alien. So I'm going to start reading this because the looks a little confusing to me. Here's my alien, I, I, suppo I suppose, because it's green. And it says it's standing on top of the Empire State Building. Here's the height, 443 meters. And threatening to destroy the city of New York. Oh, no. A men in black agent, this is referring to a movie. A men in black agent is standing at ground level. So I suppose this is the agent right here. Here they are. 18 meters across the street. So this distance is 18. We can assume, usually because you're dealing with a right triangle problem, let's just assume that this is our right triangle right here. Here's our right angle. And we have an adjacent side and an opposite side. We don't have the hypotenuse. Let's see what they want to know. At what angle in degrees should the agent shoot his laser gun? So here's the laser gun, right? Pew, 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 right up that hypotenuse right there. Um, so I'm going to draw, do a better job with that. This is the laser gun path. Okay, so what's the angle? What angle should they shoot up at? Right, what's this angle right here? Okay, so there's some angle that relates. What do we have? We have an opposite side and an adjacent side, and that's a tangent ratio. No, yes, we have an opposite side and an adjacent side. Okay, so um, so that's a tangent angle, sorry. So we're going to use our inverse tan function, right? Because the tangent of some angle is 443, the opposite side, divided by 18. What is that angle? Well, we'll take the inverse tangent to find that out, right? What, ra what angle has this ratio? And we'll solve this by pulling it up on the calculator. Second, tan of 443 divided by 18 mm -hmm. is 87, so it's a pretty steep angle, 87.67 or so, they went to the nearest tenth, so 87.7. So really high up, 87.7 degrees, and that makes sense because it's a steep building, right? So it's a steep building, and the angle looks like it's a little off actually, right? This looks like less than 87 degrees, but it is in fact the right answer, so, I think it's reasonable because we're, we're pointing really far up to shoot. Okay, last problem. Howard is designing a chair swing ride. The swing ropes are four meters long. Okay, so let me find that. That is right here. All right, so this is four, okay. And I just want to sketch this. I see a right triangle potentially forming here. I, wanna, I want that right triangle to be something I use in this problem. And in full swing, they, the tilt, they tilt in an angle at 23 degrees. Now, that just means as the ride's spinning, um, the fastest they're gonna swing out, uh, th these chairs are on ropes. So as you spin, you have a force that for forces the swing to come out at 23 degree angle. Uh, but the idea is that we have the angle 23 degrees. He, Howard wants the chairs to be 3.5 meters above the ground, maybe for safety reasons. How tall should, pe should the pole of the swing ride be? So this is our goal is to find the height of this whole pole. Within this right triangle right here, I can find um, I can find this piece first, and then add that to three and a half, and I'll have the total height of the pole because this is three and a half right here, right? So I'm gonna write this is already it's hard to see. This is already three and a half. Let me just find this piece, which is equal to this side of the triangle. So I'm gonna say that. 
from this 23 degree angle, that's an adjacent side, and this is the hypotenuse, so the cosine of 23 degrees equals your adjacent side. Let's call that x over the hypotenuse 4. So solve for x. Multiply both sides by 4. 4 times the cosine of 23 equals x. So let's do that. 4 times the cosine of 23. And we get about 3.68, right? So I'm going to write x is about 3.68. But I'm not going to round yet. I'm just writing that down for myself. I want to add x to 3.5 to get my pole height to the nearest hundredth, right? Because it's the total pole height here. So on the calculator, all I have to do is press plus, and it pulls up my previous answer. So this previous uh, decimal. Or I can press second answer plus 3.5 and I get 7.18 into the nearest hundredth that's 7.18 right 7.18 and that's our answer in meters all right hope that helped